Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you don't know who I am. Hi, my name is Melina and welcome to my channel. So from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my new vanity. So from the top, it looks the same, but the table is actually new. So the table that I had before this baby, um, it was a writing desk that I got from Walmart, I believe. And I think she was like 30, 30 dollars, 30, 30 something dollars. I don't remember, but it was really cheap. Or like forty dollars, and um, but it wasn't real wood, so um, she was good. But it's just after painting it and painting it, and you know, like resanding it and painting it, like the top was just looking kind of funky. So um, I had like prior to that writing desk, I actually had a workbench that Matthew got me when we were in Houston, and then we moved here to San Antonio. And on moving day, I told Matthew, he's like, you know what? It's not going to fit because I, um, I didn't think it was going to fit in our room. And then bringing it up, we were already tired as it is. I was like, you know, I was like, you know what? You keep the table, use it for what it's meant for. And I'll keep the writing table. And I kept it for a good while until I found this baby. And how I got this, this baby was, um, my friend and I, my, my best friend and I, Angel, we, we had a girl's day on Sunday and we went out. Like I've been cooped up and um, don't worry, we were wearing masks and I had a big thing of hand sanitizer. I was careful, you know, and all that stuff. So um, we went out to, um, to like four different stores and uh, she really wanted to go to Goodwill cause she was looking for some stuff that she needed so we went to Goodwill that's where I found this baby and we're looking around and I see this table and I was like oh my gosh it's beautiful I was like I can refurbish it because I've been refurbishing my furniture I've been painting it especially the one here the ones here in our bedroom I'm trying to get everything to match black like a matte black and that's just been keeping me busy during this whole quarantine situation um or you know I've been painting i've been refurbishing my furniture i had this one table that's made out of wood this little um tv stand that i use as a dresser that my stepdad gave me and she was all beat up and she looks beautiful like matte black so um yeah so she i should have taken a before picture of how this baby looked but she was like white and blue and stuff like that so um there was a knob missing on one of the drawers and i'll talk about that and i just got like a wooden knob from uh michael's for like 50 something cents or something like that like less than a dollar and i just painted it black and you'll see it but this is actual real wood and my other writing desk um noah that's his he, he wanted it back so i don't want you know he uses it for his for the laptop for to color and stuff like that so it, it it was a good table it was just like not good for like my stuff so yeah i'm not if you want to i don't know how to say it but i'm just gonna talk about the table um i'll talk a little bit about the hutch and about the halloween decorations or my decorations and stuff like that and yeah guys continue on watching okay so here's the table um it's a little bit like shorter than the writing desk but I mean it looks good all together um it's made out of real wood it's real wood this knob was missing so I just like got like a, a knob and like painted it but these are the original knobs you can kind of see like the color and I just painted it black I did like a little spider whip thing it comes with four drawers and I'll just start from the top in case if anybody is interested and um the Halloween stuff I get them at the 90 cent store and Dollar Tree during Halloween. Um, yeah, so I have some frame stuff. These are framed bags. Oops, that one is from Morphe when I got my first blood sugar frame those. That's a bag that I got for Mother's Day. And um, case of, cause like I got questioned when my friend was here and, I, and just in case if anybody wants to know where I get these from, these little things. They're actually um, picture frame holders from the from Dollar Tree, sorry, from Dollar Tree, and it comes two in a pack. And then these little silver ones, they're also picture frame holders from Dollar Tree. So um, I put black poster board around the crates, like, or like, yeah. And I got the idea of the hutch 
from Bargain Bethany. I will link her Instagram down below. And the crates, I got the majority of them from Amazon. And then I got like two of them at Walmart. And I know during like like August, when school's about to start, they have these organizations uh, stuff out at, at Dollar Tree and they have these hutches. And they had them last year in black and white. So just in case if anybody's interested. Yeah, so um, I got this from a thrift store. And this is where I've been keeping my palettes. Um, yeah, so that's where I keep all my Morphe palettes, my Jeffree Star palettes. Um, I just like them just to, for display. And just in case my child, Zachary, has a temptation of playing my, with my makeup. I don't want him to mess those up. But, um, that's a palette that I got from Hot Topic. Um, what else? That, I got that from Box Lunch. And it comes with these Sally brushes. I'm obsessed with brushes. I love collect collecting brushes. These are from Hocus Pocus brushes. These are from the Spirit Store. And then, you know, palette that Matthew got me for Mother's Day. Um, a lot of these, these holders right here that I have right there. And right there, I got them from the 99 cent store. Got this one from HEB. And then this is where I keep like my perfumes and then my lip glosses. Because I have my lip glosses and my lipsticks right there, but I've changed everything. But this thing, it's a coffin shaped little trinket box. And I got it at Target in the like $5 section. And yeah, and then. These push lights, got them from Dollar Tree. Um, I keep my Jeffree Star mirror right here. This is a hook that I got from Dollar Tree. It's, it was white, I painted it black. What else, there goes me. Um, these brush hold, this brush holder um, is from For Her Vanity. I also have a palette thing right there, but I just keep her for display right there because, um, yeah, so. I had that up there. But I switched everything around. And yeah, and then this, I got it from the Dad and I store during Halloween. I just keep my face brushes. I got this from a thrift store. I was black and I had the little spider webs. And I just keep like my, my easy access, like my mascara, my um little eye mascara thingy. Not mascara thingy. <laughs> my eyelash curler, sorry. And just my brow pomade, some little como se dice, eye guard or brush guard, some just random stuff and then keep my face stuff here and I, I decided to put my little lip liners here and then this guy got this from Dollar Tree. So and then this, um, this is from, uh, what's it called? Big Lots and I did have like a big computer desk but it didn't fit so I got this I've had this for years like before I've been with Matthew like I think like 10 years like I kept it and it's from Ikea and this little pillow I got it from this mirror right here I got it from Goodwill and the original price is still there I got it it was originally from Ross if you can see it and then I got it for like five dollars so okay and then i still kept my acrylic organizer did not want to get rid of it but um i guess i'll come on focus i still kept my acrylic organizer so in this thing right here i just keep like my my uh makeup bags whenever i go out if i can go traveling then this drawer right here i just keep like my mascaras my eyeliners and my sharpener this drawer right here is just like my quads and my little single shadows and then right here I keep my highlighters this one right here is my blushes and then right here this bottom one I just keep just random things in here um, like a contour kit and something else but and this thing is just like a little brush cleaner thing and then the carpet or the mat um a little dirty dirty um i got this at the 9 in store so onto the actual table Ugh, my keys so this drawer right here i keep like my my big palettes um makeup removal wipes 
a dry sponge, some lashes. Yeah, just pretty much my palette. And just little random things, some scissors just in case. This paper came already with the table. I actually wanted to get a black and white contact paper from Dollar Tree, but I haven't gone to Dollar Tree. This mirror, I actually got it from Salvation Army for $3. I liked it. It's like an antique mirror. Don't worry, I blessed it. So she she is pretty. My mother-in-law has a mirror, one like this, that her mother-in-law gave her. And I just liked it. I was like, it's really pretty. And then this is a mirror that I got from Dollar Tree. I had one like this. It was silver, but I they have it now in black. So, yeah. And then I keep some tape for my um, eyeshadow. And then there's just like little, little palettes. And then the paint that I used is a black paint. I will take a picture and I'll post it right here. And then I just keep my eye, like, not my eye, my face stuff in this drawer right here. Um, this paper actually was able to go to Dollar Tree when I had to get some laundry stuff, but I couldn't pick up more. So I'm all discombobulated. Sorry, sorry. And then this is my eyelash drawer right here. So I keep all my eyelashes. So it's a lot of eyelashes on my eyelash border. And in this drawer, uh, I just ooh, have my big, big palettes, like my Physician Formula palette. And then this palette right here. I have not really talked about it. I did do a video, but I accidentally deleted. But if you want me to talk about it, let me know. And that is pretty much it, guys. But yeah, that is it, guys. On um, the table, I don't know if I talked about the price. She was $35.99, which is not bad for like a real wood table. Um, I did sand it down. I did sanitize it. I cleaned it up. And um, I, clean, I, I first cleaned it up, like, you know, cleaned up each drawer um, with some disinfecting spray. And then I had to sand it down. And then that's when I put like the chalk paint. And um, the knobs, um, the knobs, um, I used a different chalk paint. It was like a darker color. And um, I just drew the little spider webs, of course, by hand with white paint. And then I put like Mod Podge just to seal everything up. And yeah, now that, you know, it's just like I'm finally able to like create, I don't know how to say it, like finally able to just be me. And not like, you know, hide and be ashamed that, you know, I like spooky stuff. I really do. And now that, you know, I am losing weight, which I am down 27 pounds. Like, Jesus, Mother Buddha. I still got the little, like, from the side, my double chin. But um, I'm able, like, I'm more confident to buy clothes. Like, this shirt, I got it from Five Below, and it's in, it's in medium back then I would like go with extra extra large so I like wearing form-fitting clothes and stuff like that but that's in another video but now that you know I'm able to lose weight I, I love going clothes shopping I like you know um just love you know I love myself and I'm able to like be my actual self which is I'm a I don't consider myself a goth person I do love black I do love that spooky stuff I'm obsessed with Halloween I do love like the lunar phases um scary you know like ghosts and stuff like that I, I do love that so I'm gonna you're gonna be able to see that more like especially on my social media like Instagram if you don't follow me follow me now and because I'm, I'm not ashamed and I'm not scared I'm, I, I got that confidence I can be the goth queen like Matthew says um and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video remember that you are loved and you matter I love you guys bye